Um, I'll come first to Sandine. Hi, Mikel. You back from the win. What did you make of the game and how much of a relief is that one today? Yeah, I think emotionally a very tough game to play. Um, after the three defeats, to come here, play in front of your crowd, um, and it was a match win game. And um, and I saw a team straight away, out of the blocks, really quickly, really aggressive, wanted to score, wanted to please um, everybody. We had a period after 20, 25 minutes when we started to be a little bit shaky. Didn't manage to get well enough. Um, start to try to attack too quickly, give the ball away, and, and leave it an open game. And second half, I think we took control of the game again, and we should have scored many more. Can you give us some, an insight into how the past few weeks have been for you individually, and, and the pressure that you've been under, and the difficulty you've, you've had this season? Well, I must say that um, probably it's been the best 10, 15 days I have ever had um, since I've been in football world. I'm not saying that they were the easiest, but probably the best. Um, because you have to find a purpose why you do what you do and why you have my decision to be a football player, a coach. And uh, all made sense and glide together in the last week or so. Um, it's about the relationship that we have built. It's about the level of trust that everybody at the club has. It's the connection and emotionally um, how players react, how everybody in the team, and I'm talking about any department at the club, supports follows and try to improve and be positive around the situation. And yeah, you have to win football matches. But um, for me, that's an absolutely joy to watch how everybody was behaving around uh, the context that we had around us. Thanks, Sam. Nick? Hi, Mikel. On the back of what you just said there, how pleased or surprised were you by the reaction when the team came out? It was a really big noise for you and the players, wasn't it? Yeah, so what I'm describing is uh, probably what you guys don't see, what is internally, what is happening internally. And then I had doubts, I had question marks, because obviously I had to read and I had to understand and I had to reflect a little bit on, on different opinions and criticism. And I don't know how much they're going to be affected. I think the club has been extremely open to try to send a message across of what we are trying to do. And, um, and I had question mark. I have to be honest. But I just saw and incredible fans uh, trying to inspire a team, trying to tell them we are ready to suffer with you and we're going to support you. And it doesn't matter. The rest, it doesn't matter. And um, I'm extremely grateful. I got pretty emotional to see that because I think it's pretty difficult to see in football and people maybe are expecting something or they want to go in other routes and try to transmit hate or, or whatever. And it wasn't the case at all. So thank you so much. And at the end, some of them were singing, we are staying up. Do you think that was funny? I didn't hear that, but um, it was done in the funny way. It's uh, uh, accepted. Okay. Cheers, Mikhail. James? Hi, Mikhail. Um, from the way that you're talking, do, do you feel like the big decisions that you've had to make, all of the difficulties that you've been through, do you feel like you're starting to see your vision of this team come together? I know it's only a 1-0 win, it's the first win of the season, but are you starting to see those signs now? Yeah, I started to see signs many months before. Obviously, today you saw a, a different teams with different names, with different qualities, um, just different. Um, and we want to change things, we want to improve things, and we know what we want to get. And, um, and today was just another step, I think. You selected Aaron Ramsdale in goal. Could you just talk a little bit about his performance? And is he now your number one? I think he was terrific. Um, he's not only um, what he did in the technical side, it's why he transmitted his energy, um, his chemistry with the back line, how he reacts, his body language. I think it was top. We had two fantastic goalkeepers. Um, never forget what Ben is done for us and what a good goalkeeper he is. I had to make decisions today, I believe that. Aaron was the right one to do so. And like in any other position, we have to decide. And, and that was what was decided today. Do you plan to rotate though? Or is he now your number one? I want to see how they perform. Now we need performances and we need to win full match. So whoever gives the, the better performance, whoever transmits better things, more confidence, is more reliable, is going to play. Thank you. Well done. Video. Hi, Mikael. Can I just ask your assessment on Tomiyasu and 
the reason you took him off after 60 minutes, whether it was pre-planned or whether it was something to do with his condition? Really positive. Just the first impression you get uh, when you met him. It's, it's all joy and happiness and smiles and, and good energy. And uh, the moment he steps on the pitch, he's really focused, determined. He understands the role really well. I think he was uh, really good. He was cramping, obviously. He only trained a day and a half with us. Uh, he had to travel uh, emotionally again, first game, and, uh, and we have to take him off. Ian? Hey, Michael. Um, you mentioned about emotion, and football is a lot of emotions. Um, did you have any tears in your eyes at the end of the game? No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I was so pleased that we won the game and, and that's it. I think everybody goes probably inside yourself. Yeah. Um, we talk about um, that chance of we are staying up and it's kind of a British Arsenal fan kind of thing. I think I'm talking of gallows humour about that, but this club, I'm sure, have got much bigger aspirations than just staying up. It's, it's back to where you, where you want to be, I'm sure. Uh, we have to aim to be the best, be the best in this country. And, um, and be the, the best that we've been when we have been uh, one of the best clubs um, in terms of performance and the trophies that uh, we have ever managed to do. And that's the only aim. Finally, Mark. Okay, well, I think a lot of us would have expected Thomas Partey to start today, but he started with uh, Samuel Conger instead. It, I think a lot of us thought he was the best player on the pitch. Just, just what do you think of his performance? And can he just develop into an even better player over the course of the season? Yeah, Tom, I wasn't fit enough um, to play the 90 minutes and uh, we didn't want to take uh, another risk with him. Uh, Sambi as well, he came in from Belgium with a tight hamstring and uh, he only trained half a day. And uh, the way we wanted to play, we didn't have options because the rest of, of players were injured or suspended in midfield. So we were really short because Emil wasn't available to play as well. And he made a big effort to stay here. And that's one of the reasons when I'm telling you how much these boys want to do it. And Nobody is hiding in a difficult moment. They just want to put the body over the line. Um, these two are a good example.